Welcome back my darlings. You join me today from the back of the van and I want to discuss a very important topic with you. And that is how your little stubby gun could be causing you some serious performance issues. Okay, so a little stubby gun. These are really common. This bit's a bit different than mine, just a bit holder, you know, nozzle holder, goes in line. Ignore that. Lots and lots and lots of people are using these now. This is the cheap stubby gun. This is the one that I use. And I never really understood what the difference was between this and maybe the more expensive MTM ones, apart from flow rate. So uh, Brian over at Apex Detail has done a fantastic teardown of a cheap one like this and the MTM 28. Uh, so let's go and have a look at that. Here I've nicked his footage just to show you the difference in the internals. Now, the immediate difference is the size of the piping inside. That's the Dusichin, D-U-S-I-C-H-I-N. Both available on Amazon. Here you can see quite a difference between the brass bodies and the stainless steel tubing. On the incur, the stainless steel tubing that feeds the brass body from the hose is 10 millimeters. On the MTM, you're looking at 13, and that's the difference between a high pressure unit and a low pressure unit. And another obvious difference, the SG28 brass body has a few millimeters on its smaller counterpart. The cheap ones have an 8 gallon per minute flow rate and the MTM ones have a 12 gallon per minute flow rate. Okay, that's the difference in size of the pipe. Now, one of the issues that we've seen come up a lot uh, in a, local, or a couple of local Facebook groups or the detail related Facebook groups is that people's pressure washers were pulsing. And it looks like a very likely cause of that is the pressure is being backed up by these smaller guns with the lower flow rate. And that is interesting. So it's making the pressure washers kind of back up in a loop and over pressure and, and pulse. Um, I'm not entirely sure exactly what's going on, but they are pulsing because of this. Doesn't seem to happen as much with the MTM guns, if at all. So a Facebook user in that group called Lee went and did a comparison. So he bought both of the guns and he did a comparison of what the flow rate was really like. And he sent me the footage so I can include it in this video. So he can see the two guns side by side. Uh, doing their business. So what have you learned? Well, it looks like these are a bit of a false economy and could be causing your pressure washer some problems because that overpressuring or that pulsing does apparently reduce the life of your pressure washer. So it may make more sense to go and buy the MTM guns. Yes, they're more expensive, but the SGS 28 and then the SGS 35, they're both about higher pressure rated. Basically the 35 is higher pressure rated than the 28, but they're both um, 12 gallons a minute. So. Uh, and most of the, the home pressure washers that we would use uh, don't have a pressure that will exceed that in PSI. I think they're kind of like 4,000, 5,000 PSI. Um, <laughs> if it's not the parakeets, it's the magpies uh, 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 rated. So, um, this is probably not the thing to buy. That would be my bit of a public service announcement. Don't cheap out. They're definitely worth it, these stubby guns, um, but if you can do it, invest in the right one and get an MTM, I think. I hope that was useful to you. I hope the explanations, um, the demonstration is uh, useful to make it informative. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much.